Welcome to the introduction video of the MESA Expert Nurse 3D Connector, which allows users to effectively design and evaluate seismic acquisition surveys. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how the, how the connector works. And before we start with the demo, let's take a look at what we're going to be seeing. We're going to start our demo from MESA, designing a draft survey in land and at the same time, there would be a nursery using user creating a geological model. Once the first draft of the survey is done, we can use the connector to send this initial survey into NORSAR. And at that time, the, NOR the MESA user can continue to edit its survey, for example, adding exclusion zones, if it's land, rivers, swap areas, farms, while the NORSAR user will run the first illumination workflows and generate the first illumination maps, both on the target domain, but as well on the survey domain. This means that you can understand the contribution of each shot and receiver to illuminate parts of your target. Once the first maps are ready, we use the connector again to send the maps into MESA. And with this information, the MESA user can continue to edit its survey, either reducing some shots and receivers that are unnecessary because they, their contribution is too low, or by increasing the density of shots and receivers in specific areas of your acquisition. With the new survey edited, we use the connector again to send the new edited survey back to NORSAR in order to rerun the illumination workflows so we can, in the end, make a comparison of the results between the edited survey and what's the impact illumination in regards to the original survey. This comparison can be done either in NORSAR 3D or at MESA. Let's take a look on how this workflow works. So here we have MESA and we have generated a receiver line the source line, uh, our source lines, and also a relationship file. Then the next step is to determine the beam cell size and to calculate the fold. For this particular survey, we can see that the fold here in the scale is 256. Now we wish to send the survey into NORSAR. So the old way to do so would be to export an SPS file, in this case because it's land, or in the marine case to export a P190. But since we have MESA Expert and the connector, we select the MESA Expert button and we'll be able to use the NORSAR connector. You can either create a um, NORSAR project from here if you don't have one yet, but in our case we already have one. Uh, someone working the NORSA project, so we just need to tell the connector where to find this project for us. And this is the correct project because it was using it before, but now we need to export. So there is an export survey geometry. Let's give it a name. I'll call it draft. And hit the button, and in a few seconds, we just have written that this survey into NORSA. Let's check if the survey is there. So we launch NORSAR and we can see that a user has already created a geological model for us to, to use when start running the illumination maps. It's a complicated model with reverse folds and folds. And let's assume you're interested to understand the impact of the illumination in this blue target here. So if we expand the survey folder, we don't see any survey called draft, but if we hit the refresh update button, there it is. And we can check that the survey is going to appear here in the surface and that it is land and that's why we can see some topography related to it. Now, as we mentioned in the slide showing the overview of the workflow, we want to generate illumination maps showing the heat map which is similar to the fold, but in the target 
So we have to switch from the Object tab to the Workflow tab. Select the workflow here related to Illumination Maps. It's called Illumination Maps. And this workflow offers the user three different workflow types. The survey domain type and the lateral grid reflector are the ones that are most interested for this video. The lateral grid reflector is going to generate illumination maps to your target, while the survey domain will allow you to generate attribute maps related to shots and receivers. So we have run first for this specific survey, uh, the workflow. Are we interested to see the PP uh, illumination? And we generated lots of maps. So in one single run, you can determine, for example, split my offset maps from 0 to 5, giving me every kilometer. All the results um, are saved in your object list. So let's go back to your object list. I will remove the model for the time being, so we have a clear view. And under Modeling, if we expand Illumination Maps, Target Domain, this is the age 11 horizon, the blue horizon. And here we have the first batch of Illumination Maps. So this is how our heat map looks like for the offset from 0 to 1 kilometer. And if I'm interested to see the summation from 0 to 2, I can just click on the 1, 2, and this is adding the maps on the fly to you. Um, we're also interested to know which shots from the survey and which receivers have actually contributed the most to illuminate this target. And, and also a question in order to reduce costs is, can we actually remove some receivers and sh some shots without compromising the illumination? So we go back to the workflow, and in this case, we select survey domain. And we will see that we have generated, I have previously created lots of different maps. I have to run this once for the shots and as well for the receiver. So let's take a look at the first results, which are again under not target, but survey domain. And we can look into multi-offset. And let's see here. Let's change the coloring. Those are all the attributes that Noistar is going to generate for you in one single run. Let's take a look into the heat, which is the contribution of these shots uh, to illuminate this area. We can already tell that some shots have zero contribution. They are the blue ones. They could be actually removed from your survey. We have done the same. Uh, and also we could split them by offset. So maybe they have a contribution, but in a different offset. Once we have generated the first maps, we can now use the connector to send the maps into Mesa. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to use this Mesa button. We can either launch Mesa directly from here or write the attributes into Mesa. They split it by workflow. So if I want to send the shot attribute map, I have to select. Those are all the results that I had created. So I'm going to say shot. And if I only want to send one offset, I can do so, or I can send all of them at once. So I hit OK. And if we go now back into Mesa, Let's close this window and expert attribute on your project tree. Mouse button tree, create Noisar attributes. And for the first time, what we need to do is to tell the application where to find the attributes. So you go to add. And in this case, it identified that I'm working with this Noisar project. Otherwise, you need to find the project in your director list and you go to the folder called external data and here you have all the MESA attributes exported from the project. Select one of them and hit the open button. So we have done this beforehand and I have here the receiver grid contribution and if I do a mouse button tree now I can see all the Norisar attributes available for us to see in, in one single export. 
If I remove the short-term receiver so we have a clear image, we can already tell that part of the receivers, they are not contributing to illuminating or to receive any information from your target, which could be removed. The second step would be now to edit the survey. So we could add some exclusion zones and we have a new project here. I'm not going to be doing this on the fly. Let's cheat a little bit. And we're going to open the edited project and we can see how the receiver lines and shot lines are different and we wish to send this new survey into NORSAR. So we're going to use the connector again. So miss expert, NORSAR connector, select our project. This is where I can find my NORSAR project. That is good. And now we're going to export this survey again. So this time it's going to be, uh, I'll call it edited. Hit the export button for a seconds. The survey is now available for the NORSAR user. And we see we have no edited survey here in our list. We hit the update button and now we have an edited survey for us to compare. So in this case, now that we have a new edited survey, what we can do is to rerun the illumination map workflows but using replacing the original survey, the draft survey, with the edited survey. And that's what we have done here beforehand. And I'll show you the results, the comparison between this one, which is the original map, what you're seeing, to the edited survey. So now if we compare all offsets, oh, sorry, I should have done this. And the uh, not on the survey domain, but on the target domain. So let's expand the target domain. And we see here the edited survey. And if we compare now the same offset. So we see here for the original survey from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2, the sum. And now we are showing for the new survey, the one which we're observing here on top. And we can already tell we are creating a shadow zone. So this area lost illumination. If we go back to the original survey, original survey, there is no shadow zone. Edited survey, there is a shadow zone. With this information, we can send the same back, the, the, the new maps back into Mesa in order to understand where should we increase the density of shots and receivers in order to cover this hole. We hope you enjoyed this demo. And if you would like to learn more, please contact us, either Mesa directly from Ion Geo or contacting Norisar.